What's going on, boys? It's your boy Dev back on Men 24 Colts franchise. Saturday night, we are feeling good. And last episode, New York Jets, we win 21 to 7. And not only do we get ourselves a 21 to 7 victory, we get superstar development for our second year corner, Julius Brents. It is amazing to get the development trait <laughs> after the bullshit that happened with the DPJ stuff with me launching picks um, after his rookie season, we weren't able to get him a breakout game. That is amazing. And we just add another stud with abilities to our squad. This game, we will find out Deontay Poindexter's development trait, which we will review at the end of the episode. I'm really, really hoping for superstar. He's been balling out and I think he has a chance. Now, we do see Emmanuel Hadley is star development. Kind of figured that that was the case. Um, and Chester Dent playing up to an 80 now. He had the pick six two weeks ago against the Titans. He's played better, and I like how he has been playing. Um, if he could get a development trade upgrade quick, he's already a 78 overall as a rookie. He could continue to develop and be very good. As far as the rest of the team, I'm really happy with how we're playing. Nick Cross, only a 75 overall, but star development. He will continue to develop. He's had a bunch of picks this year, man. And we do have 47 coach points to spend as well. If we could potentially get 50 after this episode, we could reveal a development trait. And using that on either Josh Harper or Steven Fontaine could pay dividends. Um, but we will consider that after that. So... Anyways, we do have a prospect highlight. We've got our focus player for scouting. So let's get into that first thing. Prospect highlight. Let's go. Assisted GM, we may want to take a deeper look at free safety Caleb Archer. Okay. Caleb Archer. Usually these are terrible. Um, prospect highlight. Consider scouting free safety Caleb Archer for further evaluation of his ability. Sometimes this works out. Most of the time, they're complete dog shit. So let's take a look at Caleb Archer. Are they, I don't even know. Like, why can't they make these actually good? Free safety, Caleb Archer, round two to three. Look at this. D zone coverage, C tackle, C man, and B to D hit power. He looks fucking terrible. Poor to marginal speed. He's one of the worst prospects in the entire draft. And they want us to take a look at him. <laughs> Like, there's no consistency. This has been an issue for the last couple years. I don't understand why. Like, if they have a prospect, it should be, in my opinion, someone they're telling us to take a look at is like a later round guy that actually has potential to be good. So either he has good skills, doesn't necessarily have to be the best athlete, or he's a great athlete with just maybe some worse day one skills. They need to work that in, bro, because it's pretty ridiculous in my opinion, that they don't. So read the results of your scouts compiled from in-person observations at practice and in-game action. My first time ever seeing this. Um, and we do actually get to choose focus players in week 11. We're going to get three guys to focus on. And man, it, it's tempting to do it on the tackles. So let's go look at our favorites. And we're going to get three guys. Now we already know everything we need to know about Carlos Woodson getting more info on George Cruz would be nice. He's a really good looking tight end or either of these tackles. Now this team is going to be pretty good. I don't really think we will be in position to take either of the top two tackles, which is Mike Bates, Max Patton, and then also Alex Bailey. Now, Marshall Lankster, 95% would be someone. He's around one to two guy. And he looked really, really good. So maybe doing him would be good. That way we don't have to trade up to get one of these tackles. Um, now, I think Nick Hills could be someone else we look at or Quincy Moss. Quincy Moss was a really good looking speed rusher. Was a freak athlete, Richard Richard Barber, a round three to four middle linebacker, Danny Daniels. I think we probably want to use it on some of these later round guys. 
um, in my opinion, just because I don't think we're going to be in a position to draft a ton of them. Like Craig Fox, only know 50% about him, but he looked like a freak athlete. I think we're also going to do Craig Fox. We need help on this offensive line very badly, especially on the interior. You know, guys like Will Fries, um, you know, Jalen Pritchett still developing. We want to know as much as possible. Like George Young, B awareness, but B pass, B run block. But I would love to know more about Craig Fox. And then Walt Holloway also looked good. Um, I don't know. But George Cruz getting a getting another tight end in there. A catch of traffic. A to B. Catching deep route and run block. 22 years old. Great to elite everything. We do need another tight end, man. We do need another tight end. I think that's going to be the move, man. Just because I know that like these tackles... No matter how good, we're already at 95%, so there is a good chance that they go to 100 by the end of the year anyways. George Cruz never will. And if he's A, everything, that's going to absolutely be a player we want. Craig Fox, want to know his pass blocking and run blocking. We need to know, know more. Um, And then Marshall Langster, we're at 95%. There's a chance we find out 100 about him as well. So maybe we want to use it on Nick Hills, this DT. I feel like we already know a ton about him as well. Maybe Rashard Barber, but we're already pretty set at linebacker. Nick Hills also looked like a freak athlete. Yeah, he looked crazy, dude. A power move, B finesse move, A play rec, B awareness, B to C block shed, A to B hit power, A to B impact block. Let's find out a little bit more about Nick Hills. We'll go Craig Fox, and then we'll go George Cruz. Those are going to be our three. A backup tight end depth position. We do have Jelani Woods, but we do, when we run mess spot, a lot of times we have a secondary tight end. And if he's a freak, could be worth moving up. Uh, Craig Fox, we need help on the interior. If he's all A's on pass block and run block, we need to know. Um, and then also Nick Hills, we need help at DT, especially with an aging DeForest Buckner. It's going to be a position of need. Uh, pass rusher is a position of need as well. But I think now knowing A to B uh, block shed on Quincy Moss, he's 21 years old, amazing athlete with great to elite speed. Um, a finesse move, B play rec, you know, not much of a power move guy. But I don't think that really moves the needle. And he is a round one guy. So we're going to go with these guys. We do have Devin Bush and we have Chester Dent. So I don't think middle linebacker is a huge position of need for us. Neither is corner. Um, so we don't want to take a tight end in the first round either. So we're going to go Nick Hills. We're going to go Craig Fox. And we are going to go George Cruz. Lock it in, baby. Now, I got my rain energy drink going. So you know it's going to be a good episode. When I'm drinking rain... I am ready to bring pain, baby. Now, I really, really am considering trying to bring back DeForest Buckner, man. He will be good next year. He will be good next year for one more year. He's an 86 overall superstar X factor. Without him, we pretty much have no one. And I think a one-year deal makes a lot of sense. Yes, we do need to upgrade but I think if we are, I think I think it makes a ton of sense. I'd be willing to offer him 17 million for one year. He's still in the upper echelon of defensive tackles. He still gets amazing abilities. He gets a ton of TFLs. He's close. Okay, he's close at 17.2. I think if we bump it up to like 18. We can make it work just on a one-year deal is all I'm willing to give him just while we have time to look for something else. We could even do a sign and trade next year, so I'd be fine with that. Uh, let's get into weekly strategy and then take on the Green Bay Packers. Uh, looks like they are a pretty average team. Um, number 16 points per game, number 16 average total yards, number 19 in pass, and top 10 in the run, though. So we are going to... You do that, though, and then you get shredded in the pass game. So we're going to defend the short pass. If they run on us, that's fine. But they are top, bottom, almost they're in the bottom, uh, what, six in the league in turnovers, 10 turnovers, 
our defense may eat. So we're going to do short pass. And they give up a ton throwing it deep. 107.1 passer rating throwing it deep. That's what we love to see. They are amazing against the run, really bad against the pass, and they're dead last in takeaways with three. So let's look for Anthony Richardson to not turn the ball over and have a really efficient game throwing the football. And let's get our weekly game plan goal. We're going to go 350 pass yards, man. I want to sling the rock. I want to. I know it's been a recipe for – we will run the football, don't get me wrong. But if there's opportunity to throw, they are – Bottom of the league in pass defense outside of Jair, we should eat. Uh, allow 24 or less points. I like that. Three, 400 plus offensive yards. If we run the ball and get 350, we, sh we should get 400 pretty much every game. Win turnover battle for sure. Let's lock that in. We got extra 750 XP for all our focus players. We did all the mini camp drills. We'll be doing those every single week from now on. Let's go. I found out you can actually get development traits, upgrades with them. Very rare, but you can. We're going to try and do that. Let's hope we did not get any injuries in practice this week. Daniel Scott dislocated his wrist. The injury specialist was out the entire year last year with a torn ACL. Complete ACL tear. Now, offense looks healthy. Let's go, baby. Okay, we do have some upgrades before the game. Anthony Richardson and Rodney Thomas. Let's go. A R five getting an upgrade. Now his ratings are looking good. We just need to get his deep accuracy up. And I think that comes with strong arm. So we're going to continue to build him as a strong arm quarterback. He's up to an 81 overall now plus one at throw accuracy deep plus one mid. Let's go, baby. He's up to 82 deep now not playing up to 90 mid. Should be delivering accurate balls every single time. Zone coverage. Let's put Rodney Thomas. Just try and get him better. Plus two zone. He's 25 now. Playing up to a 77. He's a seven, true 74. Only 79 zone coverage with a plus four overall. He needs to be better. We'll just continue trying to develop him now. Defensive back guru. We still have pursuit down. We did max out zone coverage, but play rec. I'm going to boost play rec up by one as well. And then, oh man, the inside might be something we want to work out, man. Because boosting one of them, we get tackle for corners, hit power for safeties, then boost speed. You can get a plus two speed boost? Dude, I didn't even know that was a thing, bro. I've never seen that. You can get a plus two speed boost for corners, linebackers, safeties, and corners. Oh, my God. We got to do this now. Man, that's got to be first priority, bro. I would have done that. Okay, we're working towards that at all costs because we could get – it's it's expensive, 36, but we could get a plus two speed. Um, Cisco could be like 95 speed. Dent could be 92 speed. Um. You know, Poindexter and Hadley could be 97 speed. Just unreal. That has to be our goal. But anyways, let's just look to take care of the football, boys. Um, we didn't turn the ball over last week that I can remember. Just took care of the football. Stat-wise, it's not amazing. 1,900 yards, 54% uh, completion, 19 touchdowns, 11 picks. We are very positive, but... Um, as far as more touchdowns than interceptions, but a lot of work to do rushing Jonathan Taylor over a thousand yards. He's having a great year again. Richardson does have two touchdowns on the ground, 400 yards rushing. So does add some more with that than other quarterbacks, but let's just look to, to pound the rock. Let's have a dominant game. Let's ball out and let's see what we can do. I do want to take a look at Julius Brents. Does he get any good abilities? I don't think we edited his abilities at all. So we're going to take a look at his abilities, see what he gets, and then we will get into the game. Only gets recuperation. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave him with that. He needs to get a higher overall. Um, he's still, I think, a true 79. Was Started as a true 74. True 78, true 79, something like that. But let's go, baby. Coming off a win. Defense played great last game, held Zach Wilson under 150 pass yards. Let's look to do the same 
This is an 81 overall offense. We should have plenty of opportunity for our defense to eat. We're five and four right behind the Titans. One game back in contention for this division. Let's go, baby. Week 11, Green Bay Packers. Let's get the win. And Richardson bringing the offense out. And we're looking to get a second straight win. Taylor just couldn't beat him to the edge. He beats one guy, couldn't beat the next one. Maybe should hit him with a juke. Got Taylor wide open, turn up field. He does. Jonathan Taylor. What a weird an tackle animation, but picks up 18 yards. He was wide open in the flat. Great ball from Richardson, delivered on time and on target. Let's get around the edge. We do. Just got to be faster. There we go. Jonathan Taylor, 10-yard gain, second and in inches. Keying on the left end here. He sits down. We're now blockers. Richardson! Get out of bounds. 16-yard run from our QB here. Reading underneath. Got DPJ. Turn up field. Split the defenders and just gets the first down. He's been a great, great player for us. And despite not getting his development earlier, he continues to make plays when we need him to for the most part. Double post. A play that has really worked for us very, very well. Taylor usually always gets open on this. He does again. Turn up field. Keep working. Going to come out and stick here. And I do like this run front here. Jelani Woods just needs to give us a block. He will. Let's go. Taylor gets us the first down inside the five-yard line on the goal line. We love that look up the middle, though. Just hand it off to Taylor. Fight down to the one. Down to the one-yard line. And I want to go back to RPO, man. Want to go back to that RPO play. It's just such a good play on the goal line. Richardson keeps it, and I walk in. Touchdown. So many options. I can hand it to my running back. I can pass it to DPJ, or I can keep it. The backer came down to cover up DPJ. Guys swarmed to Jonathan Taylor. Richardson keeps it and walks in untouched into the end zone. What a play. What a drive for the boys starting out. And that is a great sign, hopefully, of things to come. The offense looking very, very strong. And Green Bay coming out. J Jordan Love bringing the squad out. And we're going to see if we can't get a couple of turnovers against a team that turns the ball over a ton. Ball goes awry. We would have been waiting there to tackle him immediately. But we're going to come out in a blitz. I am Taking the running back with Cross. And we're going to see if we can't get after the quarterback here. Cisco, go get him. And he gets the ball away. Come on, baby. Play good defense. Go get him. It's intercepted. Nick Cross. The ball goes up a duck. And Nick Cross takes full advantage. And we're getting the ball back. Let's go. Nick Cross just always seems to be in the position to make plays and he is no idea what jordan love is thinking but it doesn't matter we take full advantage and we're back on offense jelani woods monster grab wow we're keeping it with richardson just go down four yards but we do see Michael Pittman in man coverage. A recipe for disaster. But we do see... Throw it away! It's going to be intentional grounding. Uh, no one was open. Not what we wanted at all. It's going to be third and 22 now. And it's going to take a miracle to convert this. Jelani Woods goes up for the football. It's broken up. Fontaine's going to come out to punt. Usually when you get an intentional grounding, 
it absolutely derails a drive and that's exactly what we saw right there gunners get free we've got backspin on this one should pin him relatively well get the ball down 20 yard line it's very difficult to make the call and we're coming out on defense let's see if we can get another turnover here turns up dent is there to meet him in the hole gain of one let's go baby and let's get after the quarterback. I'd love to see these pass rushers start to get more sack numbers. And I'm coming across with Cisco, and I save the first down. It's going to be third and one, and we're going to bring out the heavy sack. Put Buck in a position to get an instant shed. Oh, dude, I got pancaked with Dent. Brent, save a touchdown. He can't. I came across to make the tackle, and I got glued into a block animation and pancaked. Brents can't save the touchdown, and Aaron Jones crushes us on third and one. We knew exactly what it was, and we still couldn't stop it. Unreal, dude. Not really something we're familiar with. Long run plays. It's very fluky. It's not depictive of anything in this game and poindexter had a shot the the gap opened up and i thought he had a chance to return that wow and we're coming out here we're not changing a goddamn thing second quarter tie game now but i really do feel like we are completely in the driver's seat in this one jelani woods blocks the wrong guy you've got to block the d end good pass taylor Gives us life. Third and two now. Looking for Pittman to win. It's picked off. It's launched straight past his face. Maybe that's me. There's guys dropping. I'll take credit for that one. It, 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 it may be him. It may be me. I'll take credit, though. It's my bad. It's a bad pass. Bad ball. Too risky. I picked. I decided who I was throwing to before the play even started. And we've got guys right there. That's a loss of four yards. Go get him. And we're always right there for the sack, bro. And they throw it away right in our face. Almost every time that happens. And I'm, I like that, man. Uh, don't get me wrong. I like that we make him throw it away. But I want the sack. Go get him. Go get him. Who got there? Deontay Poindexter brings him down, and Jordan Love is injured. We're getting the ball back. Don't be stupid. I've been known to be stupid. <laughs> oh, I th if we could have also juked him out, it would have been off to the races. See if we can't get Jelani Woods open on a drag or something, man. Got Taylor open. He's running backwards. Just get the first. He does. It's that. Why? Why are you running backwards? <laughs> it's a terrible route. RPO alert glance here. And the football off here. There we go. Seven yards. Peoples Jones may come open here. There we go. Got him. Got him. That time it works to perfection. DPJ. Oh, pancake block from Nelson. Let's go. And that sets up the first down run. We'll take off here. Had to take off. Everyone was completely covered. Keep running. There we go. Michael Pittman's pressed. Don't really think that's going to really be... Oh, we got Richardson. Space. Down at the two. Thought he could maybe run past him and get in. Luckily, it's a basic tackle. And we're taking this to the two-minute warning. Jonathan Taylor. Walk in. Touchdown. He's automatic. And he's got nine rushing touchdowns now on the year. Unbelievable. And we're going up by seven, baby. Let's go. We have... Pretty much shut them down outside of one giant run play. Let's look to do that again. Love is back in the game. His injury was not very major, it looks like. We're right here for the pick. 
Just a great throw. Dent maybe was kind of in position. And I've talked a lot of smack about Dent. I, I like him a lot, man. Yes, it's harder for linebackers to animate, but he seems to really be taking steps. Two, I'm right behind it. I'm right behind Fumble! And Packers jump on the football. There's a penalty. Uh, it's holding on the offense. Go get him! That's intercepted! Andre Sisko! He's going down the sideline! And we're at the 42! What is Love thinking? We are eating again! And these safeties prove why it is a no-fly zone against these Indianapolis Colts. What are you thinking? And I'm looking Pittman deep. We've got him in press. Throw it away. Get out of the tackle box. We had a slant open. I was reading the streaks. We maybe could have forced a ball. But I'm actually very happy with how I played that. And I know a throwaway is never good. But we really could have forced that into coverage and probably thrown another pick. Didn't. And we've got Jelani Woods wide open. Way to hang on to the football, big fella. Got plenty of time. Got Wood. Got... Downs. Got Taylor. Oh, dude. Thank God that's incompletion. Corner comes down. Rasul Douglas. Great play. Wasn't expecting him to, man. Coming out in gum bunch drive. We've got a lot, a lot of routes on the field. If this is press man, Pittman's going to win. This will be a touchdown. It's not. Taylor. Fight down to the one, and we've got one timeout remaining. It's not out of bounds. No, 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 no. Throw it away one more time. Jelani Woods touchdown laser. Let's go, baby. He's back in the end zone. Richardson playing out of his mind. He's got a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown. And we're going up 21-7 to at half pending a monster kick return. We have really dominated in pretty much every aspect besides... We're going to continue to throw it deep, man. But we really have been playing a very well-balanced game. We did throw an interception. But we've been taking care of the football outside of that. Now, defending the run, we did get torched by that. But I want to defend the short pass, man. It, we forced him to have to push it deep by focusing on the short pass. And we've made him pay. Big. <laughs> Love with a couple of massive interceptions. Just launching up ducks. It, it doesn't make a ton of sense what he's been seeing out there. But I'm not complaining. We are taking full advantage. Defense coming back out on the field. Cross with a pick. Cisco with a pick. Poindexter's got a sack. We've been playing lights out, baby. And we're getting after the quarterback. Just force him to check down. He's 4 for 9 for 12 yards with two interceptions in the second half. Oh, flats wide open. Go get him. Big tackle for loss by Brents. It's a toss. Dent. Hadley. Blackman comes to clean up. I've got the running back. And I'm right there. Devin Bush flying in. I make the tackle at the line of scrimmage. And we should be getting the football back. We are. 10 carries, 48 yards, and a touchdown for Jonathan Taylor. And we're taking a shot. I want to take shots. I want to try, see what we can do. Nothing doing, really. Nothing doing. Just throw it away. Only 10 carries for Taylor at this point. Oh, huge Duke! Jonathan Taylor off to the races! Let's go! What a play! And just like that, 11 for 75 looks a bit better. What a monster juke. 
to set up a massive run, and he has X Factor activated. Let's go, boys. And Taylor's uh, Richardson's gonna get this one. Go down. Three yard gain. I'm gonna go another screen play here. Utilize our X Factor running back. Try and create something. Got him. Utilize blockers. He's off to the races again. Huge gain. Richardson, 14 for 20, 151, a touchdown and a pick. One of his best completion percentages of the year. He's been pretty great at delivering accurate balls, and that's really what we love to see from him, man. Just love to see that. Okay, Richardson again. Just go down. See if Taylor can just run past the defender. Just got to chuck it away. Blitz came immediately. Got him. What a, what a route by Pittman. And the comeback route, a really, usually a route that I don't consider throwing to too often. But lately, I have thrown to him a couple times, and he's come up massive. Now, let's see if maybe Woods can get open here. Oh, man, we've got to take off. We can't. Taylor was open on the left side. Got so much space. Take off. Stiff arm. Breaking tackles down to the two. We're not always sliding. We've got a ton of fight from Richardson. He's looking to punch this one in. Let's just run it in with our superstar X Factor running back. Gets stuffed on the goal line. Just going to run the football here. Dive in. Touchdown, Jonathan Taylor. His second of the day. We could have used a game where we really haven't had to sweat the entire time. Outside of one massive breakaway run with Aaron Jones. They really haven't been able to do anything against us. Go get him. Good tackle, Chester Dent. Forced him out of bounds. He's only got 22 yards. If we would have had a breakout game this game, it would have been the perfect opportunity. We're going to play man blitz here. Just try and fly after the quarterback. Allen... Allen was flying in, and he gets blocked right after play action by the running back. Would have had a monster sack. And luckily, the ball is off target because he would have been wide open streaking down the field. And it's a wide open completion to Jaden Reed. First and 10. Let's go. Defense. Buck there for the TFL. Gets help from Dent. He missed. What? <laughs> The, he tried to catch the ball. It, like, torpedoed off his chest with reverse gr physics and gravity. What the hell was that? All right, I'm keying on Jaden Reed with Cisco. Trying to get another pick. Go get him. Launches it out of bounds. Love. Dude, love has been really bad, and they're going to have to punt again. They're going for it. I mean, you're down three scores in the fourth. You have to. You really do. And I think as long as we can keep everything in front of us, get after the quarterback here. Oh. It's going to be intercepted. Nick Cross, he went right through his hands. What? Let's replay this. That was, I thought we had a book. Look at this. I click on, try and come up in front of it. Oh, man. Just look at how close that is. He got a hand in there. Oh, man, he's wide open in the flat. Make the tackle. Gets the first. That's what I'm saying. Outside of a couple big plays, it really hasn't been much that they've been doing. And that's okay. All right, slide over. I'm dent. I've got the I've got the running back here. Good tackle, Cisco. Yeah, we're number four in takeaways on the season. Number four takeaway defense. And we have two today. Did what we expected to do. Cisco in coverage. I'm clicking on to Thomas. Bricked off his hands. He was open. Go get him. Down at the two-yard line. And we're going to try and see. Oh, it's a run. And Cisco flies in and makes the TFL. What a play from the defensive back. And we... Get the ball back.
What a play from Cisco. Not the guy at all that I would have expected to make that play, but he does, and he makes it at a huge time. Keeping them out of the end zone, it's still 28-7. to Okay, we need more blocking. Got Woods. Just missed him. We're going to come right back to it, man. Third and nine. Got him that time. Just run away from him. Big body and get out of bounds. Haven't really dialed this play up at all this year. See if Jelani Woods can get open deep. He can't. Just going to run upfield, out of bounds, take five yards. Going to come back out and start running the football again. It is a fourth quarter, but we are up big. But we don't want to continue to turn the ball over. Oh, man. Get out of... Whoo. Okay, it is third and five. We're going to have to throw the football here. Nobody. Great coverage by them. I want to punt the ball back. Oh, terrible punt by me. <laughs> terrible punt by me. I don't know what I'm doing, but... Yeah, we're, we're coming back out on defense. And it was a pretty terrible drive um we did get a couple big plays but just couldn't really run the ball very well We're, oh dude point extra got pancaked what do you expect it's a corner versus a giant 300 pound offensive lineman it's not really going to go too well laid him out we're coming in mid blitz underneath coverage point dexter no 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 wrong guy and we get the sack, Andre Cisco making plays all over the field. He's a freak. And I got Cross on the running back here. And he missed him. He would have been wide open. And our defense just continues to make plays, dude. Just continues to make plays. Andre Cisco has been flying around. He's got a pick. He's got a sack. He's got a bunch of TFLs. Nowhere to really go. We get a yard. I want to get Michael Pittman more involved. So we're going to try and clear out with Jelani Woods and then get Pittman underneath. Got him? There we go. Let's get the first down. I want to get another touchdown on the board if possible, man. Be really nice to get another touchdown on the board. Got Woods. Just hang on to the football. Tremaine Blake's injured. He's actually one of the sack leaders in the NFL this year. I'm pretty sure I saw that on the stat sheet. It's going to be third and two from the 31-yard line. We sneak through the gap, and we keep the drive alive. I want another touchdown. Yeah, that's going to be a free play. We got him off sides, shifting. Pittman can get open outside. He does. Michael Pittman touchdown. Let's go. Beautiful deep ball from Richardson. We focused on the deep pass. He delivers in garbage time. Michael Pittman back on the board. 35 to 7. An absolute pure domination of the Green Bay Packers here at Lucas Oil. And we're going to be going up to 6 and 4, boys. Let's go. Sharif, I know you like this one, brother. And that's two in a row, baby. We're going to be playing my Detroit Lions next week and hopefully make it three in a row. It's been hot and cold in this, this season, man, but we've had a lot of fight. You know, we've, we've won some, and then we'll lose a couple, or we'll lose one bad one. But this squad has a ton of fight, man. Once, I honestly think the DBs just play crazy. They're starting to play exactly how I'd expect them to. And... Man, if Poindexter has... That's going to be Cisco again! Andre Cisco! Are you kidding? That's all me, baby! User pick! He's got a sack. He's got two picks. A TFL. He's been all over the field. He's unbelievable. Could it be a Cisco breakout game next week? We'll see. Dude, holy shit. Holy shit. He is back. And he just wants another defensive player of the year. Let's go, baby. Minute 26. We're going to try and get in the end zone again. Just throw it out of the back of the end zone. Looks like there could be some room right there. Got blocks. We got blocks. Breaking tackles. All that for five yards. F choice spot. We're going to send downs on a zig. If this is man, it should come wide open. Pause. Nobody. We're sacked. Jelani Woods, go deep. We're not going to throw a pick. 
But man, would this be pretty crazy, huh? We're going to go with Pittman. We're going to set everybody deep, actually, besides Peoples Jones. See what we can do here. He gets down. Jelani Woods down to the eight. It's a conversion. And now we actually have a chance to score here. I like Jelani Woods here. What a catch, Jelani Woods, touchdown. Toe drag swag, his second of the game. And Anthony Richardson gets the hat trick through the air. He gets a touchdown on the ground, four total touchdowns, an absolute whopping of the Packers. We rub it in their face. We want all the stats we can get, and it's a monster game. 41-7, to we beat the Green Bay Packers on our home turf. Let's take a look at the player stats because there are some good ones. Anthony Richardson was amazing. 110.8 passer rating, 21 for 31, 249. 67% completion. We will take all day. Much better than his season average. Three touchdowns, one pick. The one pick I take I take all the credit for. It was my mistake. After that, we just dialed the fuck in and took over. Jordan Love was terrible. And we took full advantage of him. 22 passer rating. 13 for 25. 97 yards. 52% completion. Zero touchdowns and three picks. The only touchdown they had was... The 72-yard Aaron Jones run. Outside of the 72-yard run, he had uh, six carries for 17 yards. So he was not good outside of that. Jonathan Taylor, 20 for 92 and two touchdowns. Richardson, 9 for 63. He goes over 300 total yards. He did get the touchdown run. Uh, Julian Love, 1 for negative 1, obviously. And then Aaron Jones, 7 for 89 and the lone touchdown. Receiving Jonathan Taylor, 7 for 68. Jelani Woods, 7 for 97 and two touchdowns. He is continuing to make plays. J Aaron Jones had six catches for only 16 yards. Luke Musgrave, four for 15. Pittman had three for 43 and a touchdown late. Donovan People Jones, three for 34. Hooper had a catch. Watson had a catch. Reed had a catch. And Josh Downs also had a catch. Defensively, we were crazy. Andre Sisco had one sack, two picks. Three tackles for loss. This is one of the best well-rounded games we have seen from a defensive back, man. Three TFLs, a sack, and two interceptions. Nick Cross also had a pick. And then Kevin Smith, their rookie free safety, had a pick as well. Sacks, uh, they were getting after us. Two sacks for Kenny Clark. One for Solomon Thomas. One for Rashawn Gary. One for Poindexter. And one for Cisco. So they actually had... Four total sacks on us. Not great. Point extra had a sack. Andre Cisco had a sack. Oh, and Lucas Van Ness. They had five total sacks on us. We got sacked a lot. Not what you want to see, but we still won 41 to 7. So who cares? Let's go, boys. That's going to be it, boys. Uh, we are moving up to six and four. We're in the driver's seat to try and win this division. Next week, we take on the Detroit Lions in week 12. Uh, continue to keep this going. This team is continuing to develop. We should hopefully get some more opportunities to get breakout games, to continue to develop players. We're going to find out more next week uh, about those focus players, hopefully, that we focused on. But also, I forgot, we are going to see the development trait for Deontay Poindexter. Now, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping for Superstar. It may be a pipe dream. Most likely, it, it probably is star development. But without further ado, let's go see the money. Show me Superstar. Superstar development. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, my God. That changes everything, man. That changes everything. I told you I had a feeling that he could be Superstar and that Hadley was most likely star development. I was actually right. I predicted it absolutely spot on he is superstar development and that's why we moved up to take both of them absolutely the right move and he doesn't get abilities yet but we just went from having no abilities in our secondary at corner to julius Brents gets a superstar game the next game deontay poindexter's development traders reveal this superstar this literally changes everything bro so we have a ton to be excited about, boys, and moving forward, this team is going to get so, so much better. The D 
defense the secondary is already playing out of their minds i don't expect that to regress or change at all it just will get better from here so with that being said thank you for the support continuing to stop by as always i appreciate you guys so 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 much we're growing we're almost at 200 subs i can't be more thankful and let you guys continue to let you guys know how thankful i am so i will see you in week 12 in the next episode against the detroit lions as always have a good one peace